about your chemistry with Ryan and how much it pays off, you know, on, on off schedule plays like that first touchdown um, and, and how much did working one-on-one with him in South Florida during the off season pay dividends? Um, it translated huge, um, you know, just building that trust in one another, um, you know, him just seeing me do it over and over and over again, um, you know, that builds confidence and, uh, you know, you know, just me, you know, knowing that, you know, things get off schedule, you know, he, he's going to be looking my way. Um, so just, uh, you know, just trying to, you know, do everything I can to, you know, continue to build that trust, you know, by making those plays. Luke? Johnny, Ryan was just talking about the confidence and the belief that you all have on offense. Can, can you speak to that and maybe how much your, your confidence and knowing what you're capable of is, is helping you to have outputs like you did today? Yeah, um, you know, we, we all have a, uh, you know, a standard that we set, you know, in, in, on the offensive side of the ball. And, you know, it's just, you know, having everybody just play with effort and finish. You know what I mean? And, um, you know, guys just, you know, flying around and making plays. And, you know, like I said before, you know, you, you, if you continue to see people do it over and over and over again and have progress in that, um, you know, that we, we all have a, a, a sense of trust, a certain amount of trust. Um, you know, so we set a high standard with one another. And, and we know that we just, you know, got so much ability and belief in one another. So we just go out down Sundays and just let loose. Corey? Yeah, John, uh, on the first play of the game, what did you do to shake loose? And when you are that wide open, how long does it take the ball to get there? <laughs> yeah, um, you know, just trying to navigate my way through a lot of traffic. Um, you know, I just, uh, uh, you know, was just bluffing a, bluffing a guy and, you know, kind of just trying to find my way through the, through all that traffic and, uh, you know, I popped free. So, uh, you know, just grind made a great throw, um, you know, great catch. And, um, I actually, you know, kind of mad at myself that I wanted to score on that play, but, uh, <laughs> you know, I made up for it, you know, a couple of plays later. Paul. Could go without me. Buck. Hey, John, congrats, man. Uh, this is the second week in a row you guys have been in the position to drive down the field, to try and set up a, either a touchdown or a, a game-winning kick. What what was different about last week uh, as opposed to this week, and what were kind of the emotions that were going on in the huddle as you guys were preparing for that? Um, you know, um, it's not even – I won't even say it was different from last week. We just put ourselves in that situation. We, we go over so many situations in practice and, uh, you know, we, we, we execute in practice. And, you know, we know whatever situation was called upon us, man, that we got to execute. So, um, you know, it was very similar to last week. Um, you know, I, like last week I had all the faith and, uh, you know, our kicker to go out there and another thing like he's been doing the past 15 years. And um, we, we got down there and he got it done. <clears throat> Kyle? And John, John, it seemed like all through camp, almost every day, you made some kind of big play. At what point did you feel fairly certain that this sort of maybe breakout season was on the way for you? And and, and what led you to that point? Um, you know, just when, when opportunity meets preparation, you know. Um, you know, I work hard, man. And, you know, I've been blessed with a, a God-given ability. And it would be a disservice to – my teammates, myself, if, you know, if I didn't live that out. So, um, you know, it's, uh, it's been going into my fourth year. Um, I've never started a season out as, uh, you know, the tight end one. And, you know, with that comes, uh, <clears throat> you know, a lot of, uh, you know, a, a lot of great things, man. You know, and, uh, you know, you, you were able to, you know, you know, have more opportunities to make plays and, you know, put yourself, put your team and in, in, in a better position to win. So I'm just, um, I just work re really hard, man. And, and I'm just so blessed and, and humbled to, you know, actually be, be able to showcase, you know, everything that I've uh, been blessed with and worked for. Two more, Arden. Jim. Okay, John, I'm sorry I missed the first wave here, but just your ability to make such a big impact early, how good did it feel to kind of set the tone in this one with the, with the big play early and then the touchdown early? Yeah, it's always great to, to get to get the guys going early, man. And, and you know, as you all see, um, you know, there's not a lot of support, um, you know, due to, uh, you know, everything that's going on in the, in the country right now with COVID. But um, we got to bring our own energy. And, um, you know, just having to, uh, you know, make those plays early, man, and, and, and bring the guys momentum um, is always great to get, get them going early. 
And John, knew if you could describe your relationship with Coach Brabel, any time he's asked a question about you, he goes on and on about what a great teammate you are, what a great guy to be around. He even brought your mother up today, said she did a great job raising you. What's your relationship like with Mike and, and kind of how much does that make you want to play even harder when you got a, got a coach that supports you like he does? Yeah, um, I, I played this game for, for a long time, man. And, and, and the, to me, the best coaches – um, that I've been around with, with, with those who, who were more than coaches, and that's what you got in, in Coach Riggs. You know, he, he he's more than a coach, you know what I mean? And, and and you don't just, you know, see the football side of him. You, you see genuine love and care um, for all of his players. And, uh, you know, I respect the heck out of him for that, you know what I mean? To, to come in here every day and, and actually care about what's going on in our lives outside of football. So to be around a man like that for the past three years, man, it's been great for me. And, um, you know, I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm – is I'm blessed to, you know, have the opportunity to be coached by, you know, a, a man like him. So um, I'm just, you know, happy to be here and, you know, happy to be a part of this organization. Last one, TD. Yeah, John, so far three touchdowns in the red zone. What is it that's clicking for you in, in Tannehill in the red zone that, to make you so effective that way? Um, just, just the trust, man. Like I said, um, you know, just having – doing it over and over again and, you know, seeing – you know, seeing me make those plays, you know, he just has the, the trust in me that I'm going to go up and get it. And, um, you know, that's just what I, what I got to continue to do and, and practice, you know what I mean, making sure we're on the same page in meetings. And, you know, it's, gonna all, it's all going to translate out there on the field.